Hi y'all, welcome to the final vlog of feedback. Ooh, ooh, very excited. Um, well, before I get into do feeding y'all's backs, I will talk about my song first and how my process has been going. Um, my song for this week is Take Get Me to the Church on Time from My Fair Lady. Half because I've been, My Fair Lady's been on my brain a lot. It is like, I feel like I say this a lot. It's one of my favorite musicals, but like legitimately, um, like <laughs> my dream role is Eliza Doolittle. So, Ugh. but yeah, um, why I picked this song is because <laughs> homework and practice have kind of been all over the place because I'm in candlelight carols and this week has mostly been devoted to that. So I've mostly been at the church this week and it's like I want to practice, but like every single time I like think or start, I have to go to the church. Not to say that I haven't practiced, I have. Um, I'm working on being goofy and kind of um, processing all of that. I might make a shrine in the room and get my parents to bring down my varsity jacket because I think that would be funny if I stole his entire varsity jacket. So, um, yeah. That, so that's that. Um... I guess now I'll hop into feedback, and because my computer is dying, I'm going to go backwards, um, with the, with my order of, of the order of, like, how people went, so, Rachel, because, and also because, Rachel, I don't really have anything for you, because I was in the scene, so my brain was empty, you, 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 you did, there was a lot of improvement, you did an amazing job, and I feel like you've done a good job at kind of beating back that anxiety. It was a wonderful to see. Um, now I'll go on to Madeline, which, like, hello? That was so, so amazing. Um, I feel like one of the things that you need to do is, um, what do I have here? Um, feel free to use the other clothes as a focal point for your husband. Again, you have the, during some of those parts, you, it's good to have him in the space and still have that discomfort. Um, I think you did a very good job of doing this though. Um, also like check around to see if he's not there. What happens if your husband catches you at any point in this process? Like, I feel like you have to keep that in the back of your mind. Um, but I, I, I think you're doing a fantastic job. So, um, next Spyro. Um, so I just, I just feel like you need to add a little bit, a little bit more passion into this. Imagine, imagine that, I don't know, someone is like dissing Sekai and you're very, very mad about this. And you've just kind of been listening to this for like a long time and you're just ready to like clock them. But, you know. You, you you have to start fuming because if you think of the given circumstances, John Adams is already like losing his sh shit already um, because no one is listening to him. Um, I I think it might be good if you have higher highs and lower lows. And then the final note that I have, and this is kind of a biggie, um, you need to work on your focal, on what you're looking at while you're acting and having a good focal point. Um, because, um, you just have to make more eye contact. I think there are some songs where eye contact is weird, but there are some songs where eye contact is the most important thing. Eye contact with the audience specifically. And while you're doing those talky parts in Piddle Twiddle, a lot of eye contact needs to be made with the audience. Like, try to look at people, try to talk to them specifically. Um, because it just makes us feel more a part of it. And it's only, this is only something because we're in a class setting that makes sense. And you're, when you're in an audience, when you're on stage and you actually have that fourth wall, you kind of have to guess. But, um, we have the luxury of not being in a very dark room. So, use that. Also, um, focus your, focus on your connection when Abby is in the scene. If you, if you guys are not focusing on, directly on each other for the entire time, you kind of fall off. Sometimes... So, so it's just, it's just an eye contact game. So just please work on your focal points. Make sure Abby, Ava, and Spyro that you guys are looking at each other. And then Spyro when it's, the, when it's the first bit. Look at the audience. Have a conversation with us. Okay. More notes. 
Um, and I didn't really have much for you because you didn't actually, um, sing your song. Um, but my, my one question was kind of asked, but, and answered, but it's, it's, are you a folder or are you a flinger with that one shirt? Because there was that one that you just kind of threw on the back of the chair that I feel like you could have folded. Um, but I think, I think you're killing the game. I think you're generally killing the game. Um, Ava, also, most of, um, most of the questions that I had were asked and answered already, because I had, where are you coming from? That was answered. Um, and the new one is, when you're leaving your house, where are you going to? I feel like that could help bring insight into how how that little moment before works for you and then music wise i'd say have a have a bigger crescendo on the line i will be yeah because that's that's kind of one of the biggest moments because instead of speaking in this hypothetical you're finally being like i will be this um and then last but not least ethan um you were really really amazing this was very, very good. I'm reading this off the page. Um, I think... Sorry, I'm reading this. Give me a second to process. I think right now you're playing it very, very sad and bitter. But it needs it needs a splash of more sweet. Because um, I think you... The way to, make, to give this a little bit more of an arc is giving yourself something that this character wants to suppress. Because, like, I think a part of it is you're still happy when you talk about your wife a little bit. But you know that those emotions kind of have to go away. So, um, the happiness can exist, but it has to immediately kind of turn to the bitter. You gotta give yourself something in your song to play against. So my suggestion is find moments of sweetness. Um, also, um, the sitting in the chair was very, very good for you, but I'm also just kind of sitting there and wondering like, where in the process of making dinner are you? Because you're just setting, you're setting the plate and the silverware on the table, but then you're sitting down. And in my head, it's like, is the food done? Are you about to eat? Did you like make food and but now you like can't eat it because you're just thinking about this thing? I don't know. I think this could give you something. I don't know. Um, but I think you are you improved very well. So great job. Alrighty. I think I hit on everything. So that that's the feedback portion over. Um so yeah. I'm working on being silly. Well, not silly. More, well, being creepy and letting myself have fun. Um, so, I, I hope you guys enjoy my next showing. Um, and yeah. Yeah. I'll see you guys on... Oh! Oh, wait a second. Before I forget, if anyone is interested, um, Candlelight Carols is happening this weekend. Um, it's like a big choir thing, and I'm like a super choir kid um so um if you, i there's an open dress rehearsal today friday um at two o'clock at the chapel um and uh if you're interested in like actually seeing the entire service and you have time i don't remember the exact times for it off the top of my head but i'll put the ticket i'll put the link to tickets in like the little description just because this is one of the most beautiful events on this campus and i really like I really like when people come and see it. Um, it is a church service, but there's fire. So, and you get to hold fire. So all I'm saying is, you should come to Candlelight Carols. Um, okay. Now I've hit on everything. <laughs> I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye-bye.